Hi guys, I want to make a video over combining variables. We have now done the strawberry problem. We have also done the apples problem. Now we're doing the speed dating one. Make sure you study all three of these so you really understand what you're doing. We'll do one in class tomorrow as well as warm up and then it'll be work time. Suppose that the height of M of male speed daters follows a normal distribution with a mean of 70 and a standard deviation of 3.5. So I'm going to write over here on the side males. Mu of M equals 70. Standard deviation of M is 3.5. And then we have females. Follows a normal distribution with a mu of 65 and a standard deviation of three. So I'm taking these numbers here. What is the probability that a randomly selected male speed dater is taller than a randomly selected female speed dater? I'm going to set my distribution up by doing males minus females. I'm combining my variables. I know if the male is taller and the female is shorter, this will be represented by all positive numbers. If the male is shorter and the female is taller, this will be represented by all negative numbers. Okay, let's set up our distribution now. Step one, so this was just all of our pre-thought over here. Kind of setting it up, thinking what am I dealing with here? I'm going to be combining variables. When I combine variables, the first step we want to do is find the new mean. Mu of M minus F. And I literally am going to just take those two. 70 minus 65, which is equal to 5. What does this actually mean other than saying it's the mean of the males minus the females? On average, in the long run, a male is five inches taller than a female. Now we also need to find the standard deviation. This is called describing the distribution. And in order to do that, we need to check for independence. And we know that the height of females and males are independent. And we have our formula then. We take that and it's the standard deviation squared and you add them together. So we take 3.5 squared plus 3 squared. And I'm going to type that in my calculator now. And I, do. And I get approximately 4.6097. All right, I have my distribution set up. Step two, I'm going to draw my curve. Remember, this distribution is representing males minus females. And on average, we said it was five with a standard deviation. I'm going to have to look back. It was 4.6097. And it, the question now, if we look back, is stating, what is the probability that a randomly selected male is taller than a randomly selected female speed dater? So we want to know this probability here. And this probability on the chart, we find that by thinking about the positive numbers. The positive numbers on this number line right here represents all the places that a male is taller than a female. Well, at a certain place, they're going to be equal, and that's at zero. Zero represents a male minus a female. They are the same height. I draw a line here to the left. These are all negative numbers. Negative numbers represent this situation right here where the female is taller 
than the male. And when you subtract, you'll get a negative number. To the right of the zero represents this situation, where a male will be taller than a female. And that's what the question is about. So now that I know my observation of zero, I have to find a z-score. z is equal to zero minus five divided by 4.067. I'm going to type this in my calculator right now. I get negative 1.23. I'm going to go to my calculator. You go to your calculator or your table. You paste it, and you should get 0 0.89065. And that's your final answer. Now, if you didn't get that, if you got 0 0.10934 by going to the table, you have forgotten that we're finding this area to the right. And so when we go to our table using the z-score, we have to subtract from 1. If you have any other questions, let me know in class. Thank you very much.